Hello, I'm David R. Lewis. Welcome to Theater of the Mind. While I write in several genres, lately I've been working on a group of westerns I call my Trail series that follow the life and times of a young man named Reuben Beeler. This episode features an excerpt from the first book in that series, Deer Run Trail. To set the scene, our hero, young Reuben Beeler, has found an old man shot, beaten, and left to die out on the trail. We join them as the old fellow regains consciousness. Who are you? He asked. His voice was pretty weak. Uh, Reuben Beeler is my name, sir, I told him. You've been shot, but I don't think whoever done it has managed to kill you. He actually smiled a little. I'm Arliss Hyatt, he said. You found me, I reckon. Yes, sir, I did, I said. You have been shot in the neck and the head and you have been kicked on some. I washed out your wounds, built you a fire and sat with you. You carried on a little last night, but you seemed to be better this morning. He studied on me with hard eyes for a minute and then they softened. Rube, he said, you get me through the next two days and you got yourself another friend. Well, I ought to pour a little more whiskey on them wounds of yourn, I said. You ain't gonna like it much. I don't make no difference, Arliss said. I'm leaving you for a spell anyways. While he was passed out, I poured what was left of my whiskey on his head and neck and covered it all up again cause of them flies. I took my canteen and walked down the dry washaways and come on a little seep in a low spot. The water smelt kindly bad and was full of little critters zipping around. I filled a canteen and headed back with it anyways and flushed a rabbit that run off a little piece and then stopped to look things over. I got lucky with my yellow boy, luckier at least than that rabbit, but that 4440 pretty much made a mess of it. At least the hindquarters was still good. When I got back, I freshed the fire, strained that water through the sleeve of my second shirt and put it on to boil while I skint what was left of the rabbit. The water was cooling and the rabbit was sizzling when Arliss come around again. Uh, uh, can you eat? I asked him. Well, I can try. I'm awful thirsty. I took my little pot to him. It's still warm, I said. I had to strain and boil it. Probably going to taste awful. I held his head while he took a couple of swallows and he passed out again for a little bit but come back. I pass out? He asked me. Yes, sir. I thought so. You raised my head and everything commenced to spin. <clears throat> Is my skull broke, I wonder? Well, I seen some blood and such, I said, but I ain't seen no brains. You got creased pretty deep along the top of your left ear. I spec that's what's making you so dizzy. A little bit of the top of your ear is gone. The hell you say? Yes, sir. They hit you on the neck in the left side, too, a hole going in and coming out. They bled quite a bit, but I stuffed a couple of pieces of my neckerchief in them, and they clotted up. You're bruised up, front and back some. Looks to me like they was kicking on you. Arliss kindly smiled then. Boy, are you trying to tell me that I ain't the picture of health? I grinned down at him. You ain't the picture of good health anyways, I said. He laughed, gritted his teeth, and went off again. I led my riding horse and my pack horse down to that creek bed to the seep and hobbled them there. Then I went back to the fire and turned the rabbit. Deer Run Trail is sold as an e-audio book in a number of locations, including audible.com and is available as a free ebook on Barnes & Noble, iBook, Kobo, and elsewhere. I'm David R. Lewis. Thanks for dropping by Theater of the Mind. It was some pleasureful having you folks out here with me on the trail. <laughs>